Disney, Lady and the Tramp, Disney, Wonderful World of Reading. Alright. Let's look forward ahead. Illustrations and uh, story adoption. Alright. Let's see. On Christmas morning, darling opened a pretty pink box. To her surprise, a puppy popped out. Do you like her, darling? Jim Deer asked his wife. Oh, I love her. What a perfectly beautiful little lady, darling cried happily. Arf, arf. All right. And uh, Jim Deer and Darling loved their Crocker Spaniel lady. Soon the sweet puppy grew into a beautiful dog, and her masters gave her a fancy collar and a license. Lady proudly showed her new collar to her friends, Jock and Trusty. Jock admired the collar. Ah, the greatest honor man can bestow, the badge of the faith and respect respectably. Respectably, <laughs> the Scottish Terrier told her. That's right, Miss Lady. Trusty, a bloodhound, agreed. Right. But not very. But not every dog wanted a collar. A mutt named Tramp didn't have a master, and he liked it that way. Tramp spent his days foot loose and collar free. He was also a very good at outsmarting the dog catcher. No one had ever caught Tramp. Right. One morning, Tramp overheard Lady talking with Jock and Trusty. It turned out that Darling was expecting a baby, and Lady was wondering how things would change. Tramp gave Lady a warning. Remember, when that baby moves in, the dog moves out. Lady didn't need to worry. She helped Jim Deer and Darling take good care of the baby after he was born, and her masters loved her as much as ever. But not everyone loved dogs. Soon, Jim Deer and Darling had to leave the baby for a few days. Aunt Sarah arrived to babysit, and she didn't like dogs at all. Uh oh. Worse, Aunt Sarah had brought along her two cats, the mischievous cats, caused all kinds of troubles. Oh, Siamese cats. We are Siamese cats. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> What's happening here? Lady protected the house from the mischievous cats, but Aunt Sarah blamed Lady for the mess that they had made. Aunt Sarah took Lady to the pet shop to get a muzzle and a leash. Aunt Sarah is not seeing the full picture here. That is awful. Just assuming the dog did it all. Lady didn't like the muzzle one bit. She wriggled free and ran out of the store. She, the pampered dog, had never been on the city streets alone. Lady was frightened and confused. <gasps> She's being chased by dogs. Suddenly, a pack of vicious dogs began to chase her. Tramp came to Lady's rescue. That's good. Glad Tramp saw that happening. It's been horrible for Lady. Horrible, horrible. <sighs> Let's see here. Um, ah, you poor kid. Tramp soothed her. When he noticed the muzzle, we have to get this off, and I know just the place. Tramp brought Lady to the zoo and convinced a busy beaver to help them. Soon, Lady was set free, and the beaver could now use the muzzle as a handy-dandy log puller. <laughs> Ooh, looks like they're going out to dinner. Tramp decided to take Lady to Tony's restaurant for dinner, or at least the alley behind the restaurant. Tony and his chef, Joe, always saved bones for Tramp. 
But when Tony realized Tramp had brought along Lady, he didn't give the dogs bones. Instead, he and Joe set a table, served spaghetti and meatballs, and even sang for the couple. Oh, so sweet. Oh, what's happening here? They're kissing, it looks like. As the two dogs ate, they both started nimbling on the same long strand of spaghetti and wound up nose to nose. It was a beautiful night. Still, loyal Lady wanted to return to her family, so the next morning, Tramp agreed to take Lady home. On the way, he asked her if she had ever chased chickens. Certainly not, she replied. Then you haven't lived, Tramp promised. The two sneaked into a chicken coop and stirred up the birds, but the owner of the chickens spotted them. Of course, no one could catch Tramp. No one can catch Tramp, but what about... Oh, no. But Lady was taken to the dog pound. She was terribly frightened and ashamed. The strays in the pound knew that with a collar, Lady wouldn't be there for long. Sure enough, Lady was taken home. Oh, they look angry at Tramp. There, Aunt Sarah chained her... Chained her to the doghouse outside. Oh man. Jack and Trusty were trying to cheer her up when Tramp appeared. Mm. Tramp offered her a bone. Little something I, I picked up, he said. But Lady was angry. She wanted nothing to do with Tramp. So Lady was alone when a nasty rat crept out of the shadows. It climbed up in the house and into the baby's room. La Lady barked loudly to warn Aunt Sarah. Stop that racket! Aunt Sarah shouted at Lady, never noticing the rat. Oh, yeah, see, there's the rat. Aunt Sarah just... <sighs> just assuming things again. All right. Luckily, Tramp heard Lady and came running back. What's wrong? he asked. Lady told him about the rat. Tramp raced into the house and found the rat under the baby's cradle. The two began to fight. Once Lady managed to break free, she raced inside. Tramp had won. The rat was no more and the baby was safe. Lady was grateful to Tramp. Tramp's a good dog. He saved the baby. But Aunt Sarah was not. She didn't see the rat and thought Tramp was trying to scare the baby. You vicious brute! Back! Back! She cried, shooting Tramp into a closet. Then she called the dog pound. Jock and Trusty watched as Tramp was hauled away. That is just awful. See? Aunt Sarah just assuming things again. Just then, Jim Deer and Darling arrived home. Aunt Sarah told them that Tramp tried to bother the baby, but Lady barked to get Jim's attention. Arf! 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 She's trying to tell us something, Jim Deer said. What? What is it, girl? Lady ran upstairs, pulled aside the curtain, and showed them the lifeless rat. Now, even Aunt Sarah knew that Tramp was a hero. All right. Jock and Trusty overheard everything and realized they had to help Tramp. All right. Um... Come on, we've got to stop that wagon, urged Trusty. We'll track him down. Jock was sure that old Trusty had lost his sense of smell. Um, well, I guess it would be like, Come on, we've got to stop that wagon, urged Trusty. We'll track him down. Jock was sure that old Trusty had lost his sense of smell long ago. But Trusty was able to follow the wagon. Hey, there you go. He's still got a sense of smell. Trusty bravely leaped into its path to stop it. Oh my gosh, I hope... Oh no, what's gonna happen here? Moments later, Lady and Jim arrived. They saw that Trusty had been hurt. No. Stopping the dog catcher's wagon. Everyone feared the worst. Oh, I hope Trusty's okay. He's arrived. Good. 
Looks like Jock's got a cool sweater, too. But happily, by Christmas, Trusty was well enough to go along with Jock to visit Lady and Tramp. The former stray now lived with Jim Deere and Darling, too, and was part of the family. The two dogs were let into the house. Um, I see you finally acquired the collar, said Jock, looking at Tramp. Complete with license, Tramp added proudly. <laughs> But that wasn't the only reason that Tramp was pleased. He and Lady were now the parents of four adorable puppies. It was a very happy Christmas indeed. Is she okay? No. Each dog has a present on the opposite page. Read the clues to figure out what present goes to each dog. We'll probably tune in until later after that. Little one just tripped. Uh... Jesus. She'll be okay. <laughs> Lady in the trap.